Can you tell us about the most common social issues in Morocco? Well, actually there are many. So, uh, in my opinion, a literacy rate that's really high in the country is one of the main issues we have in the country. There is an employment rate, rate actually. It's very high, especially among educated people. Uh, some people estimate the number of jobless educated people up to 20%. There is a problem of illegal immigration. You know, Morocco is closer to Europe. It's only 14 cases uh, between Morocco and Spain. So many uh, people from Sub-Saharan Africa try to reach Morocco by any means so they can get to Europe. Uh, when security measures were tightened, uh, these days many of them choose to stay in Morocco, which becomes really a big social problem. There is another problem of uh, street kids, a growing number of them actually we start to see on the streets. A problem of people with special needs, there is not much done to them. And I can say finally actually another biggest problem is women rights and women empowerment in general. How have CCS volunteers been involved in addressing these issues? Well, we are actually involved in many of this. Uh, some of our volunteers actually work as teachers of English in many actually placements uh, because we found out that many unemployed people or even students think by mastering English their job opportunities actually will be uh, grown up. I mean more chances if they speak English than only French and Arabic. We are actually working with special needs also so we can see the change between the times where our volunteers are there and we're not. So basically it's one of the main kind of placements for us. Uh, we work also with uh, illegal immigrants by trying to empower them, teach them some English, give them some hope kind of in life. Uh, we work also with women, so we try in general to tackle all these issues. Uh, we don't do much with illiteracy because most of our volunteers don't speak Arabic. Uh, but actually I can say we have one example where there is a guy who is a guard car by nearby one of our placements and actually he joins the classes and he starts to know how to write his name in English. So basically, even though he doesn't know how to do it in Arabic, at least now he knows how to do it in Latin, uh, I mean alphabet, so that's an achievement. You have been working with CCS International Volunteers to, since 2007. What types of changes have you seen in your community? Well, actually, I answered some of the questions during my, in the previous question. Uh, one of the main thing is when I talked about teaching adults English, we've seen that many students actually are not there anymore at the placement. Some of them actually are outside of the country. Uh, the reason they came to learn English is to be able to find better job opportunities outside of the country. Some of them, some of them are actually in Europe, the States, and Australia. Uh, when it comes to, again, uh, special needs, we see actually the difference, as I say. Uh, our volunteers do a lot to help them, give them some love and affection. Uh, take them out in the garden. So we, we've seen a lot of changes between the time when we have volunteers there and where they're only the Moroccan nurses. Uh, with actually the, the women issues we tried and we were successful in many ways. Our volunteers talk about gender issues. They try to raise this again among for men and women alike, like to see exactly that by empowering women, it's the whole society that is empowered. And actually we are doing pretty good. In the, in the last uh, six years, uh, a lot was done and we noticed the difference. If you could give only one tip to volunteers, what would it be? One tip. That's a difficult question. I think um, being open-minded is a good one. Uh, people come with backgrounds and we tend as human beings to be ethnocentric. We try to judge others based on our values. So I think being open-minded, being open to see that people do things differently, that doesn't mean that they do them the wrong way, uh, I think is a good thing. And this opportunity of volunteering abroad helps people to identify themselves better and their own culture. Uh, so I think being open-minded and flexible are good, two good qualities I mean, for an international volunteer.